Hi everyone, I'm here at the Pebeo booth and I'm really excited to show you amazing products, art products that are amazing for mixed media or for anything you want. And I have Micheline here and she's going to show you all these amazing things. So I'm going to pull this down so you can see it really well. Oh, you're filming this way? Yes, I'm filming right. that way. Hello everybody. So the first thing that I'm going to show is these uh, liquid oil paints. So that's, uh, that's different. We see a lot of that. Uh, pouring you know these pores are really popular but with these things you don't have to add any silicone oil or any kind of medium or whatever uh, they, they react by themselves so they're really fun to use you can control them a little bit more too than if you're just uh, pouring so these uh, colors uh, they come from France the Pebeo line so vitrail actually means stained glass in French so they were first used in uh, stained glass applications so the color that you see uh, let me show you a red one okay so if I put this on glass it's gonna be this color it's gonna be like paler lighter because when you are working on glass you have all sorts of light going through it so colors are much lighter if I put it on a canvas or on a whatever wood or it could be on ceramic tile it's gonna be much darker see I'm pouring it it looks almost black it's much darker so when I want to use it I can lighten it and we have lightening medium they come in the little bottles I always suggest use the big one because you can you stretch your colors a lot so I just put a little bit of lightning medium. I don't use this I use little uh, shooter glass cups I think the people at my dollar store think I'm really a party girl because I'm always going in there to buy these. Uh, all right, let me find a little pipette from where I don't have one, so I'm just going to use a stick. So you should always uh, mix these. You don't shake them. You don't want to have bubbles. You just stir them gently. So, so I'm just putting a little bit in there. And you know what? I'm going to show you here. We have... Um, medium here that's uh, glitter medium okay that I can put directly in here Jess can you find me a little pipette please um, alright so now you're gonna see this is the same color but I lightened it and I have glitter in it I don't know, Karen, if we can see the... The glitter is hard to see. The glitter. I'll try to get it closer. It's huh? already super shiny, high gloss oh, yeah, you finish, you know? But so this one, you'll see that it has even more shine to it with the glitter. And you know, you could add any scrapbooking glitter you had in this you could, anytime. See, I'm just going to show you real quick here. On um, this, uh, you add like this glitter, it's just powder glitter, so you can add... That is just beautiful. Can you show it from close? I uh, just yeah. one sec. I want to show that. I'll Look how. Look. The techniques how this was used. I'll show you live how to use them. And these are actual stones. Actually, these are resin. We used crystals and we made our own with resin. Amazing. Here I have it right here. So with this, I just real real quick with the silly gum. So we just put all the crystals in there and then made our own crystals. Wow. And you can tint them whatever color. So these are kind of dark red, but I mean, we can tint them to be paler or whatever color you want. So yeah. So, all right, now, uh, so the vitrail colors, you know, they're, they're transparent. And we have some that are opaque. So these are opaque. So, mm -hmm. so these ones, you don't have to uh, lighten up. They're just what they are. I'm just going to show you this. But here, I'm just in charge. Alright, so and then I'm gonna the fun's gonna start when I'm gonna be showing you different colors. Okay. Uh, the moon and the prism which are our effect. Alright, so now I'm just doing whatever. And I could move this around. They are liquid. Okay. Are you ready to see something really cool? I'm gonna put in there some moon. So moon, what it does. Moon, if you use it alone, it just has this hammered texture effect. This is prism. But the moon, when you use it with another color, it pushes it out and it does like doily effect. I'm just going to put a little bit in here and you're going to see what that does right away. 
so it's for I don't have to touch it it's doing it by its own and it's kind of instant you see that it's forming like this little the cells doily kind of look yeah those are cells Stretch, yeah. stretching out so this is with the moon and that they're that actually uh, pearlized right the moon ones they're pearl uh, this one is because that's the color it, it's like sand um, yeah they, they all have a little bit that, that shine look. and then the other one takes a little bit longer. So um, the prism, that's the one that does the little, these, these uh, cells. So prism by itself, if you're doing jewelry or whatever, is going to do that effect. But when you mix it with another color, um, what the cells that you see through will have like different colors. So oh, that's wait. really cool. So, am I moving too fast? No, no, it's okay. I'm just catching you. Perfect. All right. So now I'm. Well, I should have started with this one, really, because this one is going to take a while because it starts reacting from the bottom. Let me put a bit of red in there. So as we talk and I show you more product, we can come back to this, and then we'll see them really in action. I'm just going to put a bit more red in there. Where are these products available? In the U.S. In the well, online for sure you can find them on uh, Diplick and Dick Amazon. Lake, Amazon. And places. Uh, if uh, Michaels carries them, uh, I know some. Oh, I'm not the best person. For okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, and yeah. But um, no, they're they're available. Yeah, yeah I know Dick Blake does carry them, and in Canada the Sayers and Currys as well. So yeah. Yes, the Sayers has a very wide selection. Yeah. Putting them you can so, create really cool effects. Very, and if we wait a little bit, uh, well, we're already seeing some of these cells. These ones, the prism, they take a long time. So just a little tip: if you use this, um, if you use it with the moon, one beside the other, the moon, the one that just did this kind of doilies, the moon reacts more on top and quickly. So it will kind of go and react over the prism, and then you won't see the beautiful cells that the prism does. Oh, okay. If you did it on glass, and you would look under, you would see them. You know. They so, also have these pouring trays. This is another yeah. work that was just here before. Oh, we were just. They were just playing, playing around, but yeah. look how cool it looks. And they come in a tray, and the tray has like a ledge, so the it doesn't pour out. But what happens if you don't have one of these okay, trays? So we have. I did it, I bought at a garage sale a tray, like a serving tray that had an ugly picture and I did a beautiful pouring over it and I was so proud and I left it at night and I'm like, I wonder how it's going to look like because it keeps moving, right? And the next thing it was stuck to my table because it leaked, it wasn't meant for that. Now I know better. We have, uh, it's called Serme Relief, I don't know. How it's a relief it. paint, it's yeah, kind so of whatever. It's the outliner. So we have it as well in the transparent that you could go around if you want to have a really thick application, go around your border and do that. Yeah, so these are, so show us how they work then. Yeah, exactly. So that we have them in different colors. Okay, oh, look at this. An example. So this is really, she did many different colors. She has gold and copper in there, but so this is holding this paint. Because for this, for the prism to react and make nice big cells, you don't want to stretch it with a with a paintbrush. You want to have it on pretty thick. So that that's going to be like your your outline that's going to hold it on a canvas or whatever it, that you're pouring on. So there is a transparent one if you don't want to show, and you can just make sure you go around your surface to make sure that nothing is going to flow out. And look, these are as well the same. Yeah, the same, the same stones. Same resin crystals that they were tinted with betrayal. Wow. With, with some of those oil colors. So they're not real crystals. They no. look like real I pearls. Know. Isn't that fun? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so let's see so if they react. Oh, these are coming. You can start seeing them. Little bubbles. All right. So I'm going to move forward. So these outliners, you just, uh, you can draw and then you're sure that it's not, you know, you can, well, let's say I'm doing a design or whatever. You can go really thick or you can go thin. And so when you fill, let's say I'm putting red in it, well, I need a paintbrush. You know, you put it on, it's, let me use a little bit of moon in there. There's moon. These ones, the, the moon and the prism, just so you know, if you don't use them for a couple of months, they will have uh, 
chunks in the bottom and it doesn't mean it's it's bad or wrong you just stir it well it's normal you want that to be well mixed because it's all the goody stuff is all in there if you want your reaction to happen all of the micas everything's in the bottom it's gonna sink a little bit so they put that in there Let's see what's that So it's holding it in place basically yeah. but so we have some like amazing paintings that people do uh, like show you just like that people are painting and their drawing outline is done with the the outliner with the relief and then they paint inside with those so you can do really really beautiful things yeah. that's very cool yeah. Well, there's a painting over there. I will, I will turn around so you guys can see this fantastic painting. Oh, hi. <laughs> it's like a bird, but like they made it all with these paints. It's unbelievable. Oh. Yeah, I'll show you guys at the end. Yeah. So it was mixed. It's a mix of acrylic paints and the oil pan paints. Yes, exactly, liquid oil paints. The liquid oil paints oh, that you're see, missing. It's it, there, it's slow, but it's happening. Those cells are going to get bigger and bigger as we talk. In the meantime, um, see how this was like holding it in, so you can do all sorts of designs. You can use this after too. Once it's dry, you know, uh, you did something, and then you can go over and decide that you're going to be. So you, you could do that on top as well, once it's dry. That's very Another cool. thing you can use, because this is very high gloss, if you wanted to do little lines, you could use the, um, uh, where are they? My four artist markers, which are oil markers. I'm going to find a little one. Okay, I got a little one here. This is my four millimeter. It's not the thinnest one, but I mean, I could, go over this and do different applications. So when you're doing a, a geode, geode, you know, you could go and do with a thinner one, uh, gold or silver, you could do really cool lines. Let me show you. You'll understand what I mean by how cool my metallic colors are for the oil. This is a really big tip, but it, can you see this here? Mm -hmm. If I go here, look yeah. at this. This looks like if I just melted chrome right over my surface right wow and for you artists that are more abstract let me do, show you something i'm pumping this and i can do wow so this is oil all right so you can only go on oil right yes well no we use it over resin or over oh. anything that's yeah oh okay. but ideally you can, no you can use it over acrylic as well you wouldn't want to use your acrylic over, over the oil, but you can use it over pretty much anything. And can you tell the people how long does it take to dry? Okay, more markers, approximately. About five minutes for this. For this, maybe 10, 15, because it's much thicker. This, much longer to dry. To the touch, four hours, a bit more. And if you're, you know, and to be completely cured is a good. Uh, 36 hours or even more depending on how thick you put it you know but we have ladies who did some yesterday they left it here in the booth and then they came back to pick it, to bring it and it's not tacky but if they're carrying it in plain you know it could get get damaged and if you're doing coasters or yeah. things like that I would suggest you pour resin over it to make it really sturdy because this could imprint if I have a heavy pitcher of water on it um, <laughs> They're oil paints, you know, it's not like there's no resin in it. Mm -hmm. And they are oil paints, so you shouldn't do what I do. When you finish, you close it because they do have a smell to it. It's normal. Uh, so use in a well ventilated area. You know, if you're teaching a class and you have 50 bottles open after a while, it's gonna, you're, you'll be having fun. <laughs> All right, and so I showed you the um, the oil marker, but I we also have acrylic markers. Would you like to see that? Sure. Okay. So the acrylic markers, same thing, we have five different tips. So 0 0.7 is a really fine one to show you on here. Actually, it would be best on paper. So for all the people that love art journaling with acrylic, this yes, would be ideal. Exactly. So I'm just going to move this here. 
Mm -hmm. And in a few minutes, we can look at how I just big want to show cells. you the shells, the shells, the cells from much closer. And look at that metallic. Wow, it's really, really, really nice. And that's already dry. Perfect. So the acrylic markers now, um, we have a very fine tip. Let me just cut this. Okay. So that's 0 0.7 for art journaling and scrapbooking and things like that. That's a, that's a popular uh, size. And then we have uh, bigger. We have two, 1.2 millimeter. We have uh, four. We work in centimeters, but so. Yeah, we work in centimeters. Yeah, okay. So these ones. Um, oh no, inches. No, never mind. We work <laughs> in inches. Depending where you are. Yeah. Some are called the precious. So, like, this is precious green. So it has kind of like metallic glitter in it. Okay. And these you can use water. Uh, you know, and you can do a bit like a blending with, with water and do kind of a watercolor effect. They're acrylic, but I mean, they're fun. Um, Thanks, Jen. Let me show you something really cool about them. Is that, you know, how, let's say your tip gets damaged because you're doing painting on a rock or something. Well, these tips, you can just easily uh, flip it, pull on it, and you flip it so you have a really nice new one. And then guess what? You have two more here because you have an extra one on every one of our acrylic markers. You have an extra tip. Wow, so that's just want to make sure that you get all that good color all the way to the end and I want to show you another one Karen and it's for those of you who like to do watercolors mm -hmm. if you still have time for me oh yeah you can all go right, on as so long as you want this one this is my um, drawing gum marker so drawing gum uh, people who do watercolor know what they say is it, it allows you to have like masking white space to mask and I have beautiful Right here. That's one of them. Hold on. Let me just flip that. That's very, very cool. So somebody did that handwriting? Yes. And then they use, they use ink over it. I'm looking for the other one. Oh, well. They use ink over that one. But, and I don't have watercolors or ink here with me today. Here's another example. This one was uh, used uh, with uh, uh, the marker and uh, inks over it as well. So this section here, the bigger one, was done with our uh, masking fluid that's in a bottle. Not this one, but I mean in this size bottle. But the smaller ones here and here, this was done with the drawing gum in a marker. And I'll show you how easy it is to use. Um, you don't, do you have a free hand or how, did you want to draw, just write something, maybe write your name? Sure. Hand? I have a free hand over here, let's see, and I'm going to go over here. Okay, so in like 10 seconds this will be dry, and like I said, I don't have a, I don't have a, a watercolors here today. But will it but work with acrylics? Yes, it will oh, work. Okay, so there. It will work. I'm just going to move it a little bit with water so that it dries quicker. But it Dry. And in a minute, we'll be able to just rub it off with our finger, and we will see how. Here, so we're gonna have a real. Yeah, we, we can dab it. It's fine. I understand the point. All right. And now, um, what about the resin? Can you can you show us the resin? Well, I, is it a, I can. You can show us how to make it because it dry. It takes too long to dry, it, right? It, it is longer to do. But the one cool thing that we, we don't even have it here today because we've had resin, blazing resin, and crystal resin for 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 many years. But the new thing that's going to come out at the end of the spring is we're going to have uh, bio-based resins. So it's going to be more friendly for the environment and smell less. And so we're very, very looking forward to launch that product. But that's not right now. We'll just be patient. And for sure, um, maybe 
Yeah, so I'm going to be, while, while this is drying, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. I've been approached with Pebio and stay tuned to my channel because I will be testing and showing you some of these products and doing them in art journaling and mixed media. So I'm excited to just try all of these. So stay tuned, obviously, for other things. Okay, now we're going to take... This part is dry, but this not. So if I'm rubbing this... You know, yeah, the, uh, you need a really heat dry, tool. <laughs> but you see that already. So. You can see that it masked yeah, it. So That's weapon. very, very cool. I've been to unicorn school. <laughs> That's very yeah. nice. Anything else you want to show me? Well, you, I don't know if your audience has any interest with glass paint. And, uh, we could show them. Why not? Show quick, so. In the meantime, while this dries. Yeah, just for. Oh, show. I love that. <laughs> So they're all ceramic as well then? That's, yeah, there's two different collections. There's the porcelain, that's for China porcelain. ceramic, and there's the, the glass one. So you can use um, an outliner, see that texture? So this is the porcelain outliner. And you can use a marker, so same drawing, okay. so but with a marker, with a porcelain marker. And these are so easy if you want to just try it. Oh, sorry, we're moving around. Okay, I'll try it. This is a porcelain marker. Here you go. So they're nice and smooth. Yeah, they're very, and they're permanent, right? They have to be baked. They have to be baked. Well, if you're just for decorating purposes, it, it, it's fine. But if you're gonna put it outside, or if you want to have it in the dishwasher and wash it and use it every day, yeah, then you put it in the oven. But what happened? Can you can you use any porcelain, or does it have to be something specific, like any type of no, china? Anything that's that's white, or yeah. Wow, like that's that. very very cool. So you can you can do very simple designs. You know, we have like a porcelain. Oh, that's beautiful. I could, and this, this one here, I use a little bit of lightning, uh, medium, not lightning. Uh, uh, yeah. Gloss. Okay, and there's a thinner as well. There's different Which, mediums. what is it? Which, oh, it's a so me. I think I use the thinner to make it just a little bit more liquid. That is very cool. And then I use a straw, and I blue to do the little. Oh, wow. And here I actually use the toothbrush like this, you know. That's so, beautiful. But, and once it's baked, uh, cured, that's it. Uh, you can use so, can you tell me how, how do you cure it? So, the porcelain is porcelain 150. Uh, that's what it's called. It's because it's 150 degrees Celsius. So, that would be 300 Fahrenheit. And this one is for 35 minutes. And it says the instructions okay. on all okay. the, the Okay. Oh, okay. And the best way, a little trick uh, before we finish this, is that uh, you, you start your oven. You don't start your oven right away. You put your product in it that you want to cure. Then you start it. And then when it reaches, it beats, you know, 300 degrees. Then after that, uh, you put your timer for 35 minutes. And when it's done, you, you turn it off, you open it, you let, you let it cool off, and you go get them with your hands. So there will be no shock, you know, no thermal difference. Because when you're baking glass or ceramic, if you go from cold to really hot, it could crack, it could break. So that's and what about, is it safe then to like do it in the oven, in the same oven as where you eat? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. No, not at the same time. time. You can certainly, yes, it's not a problem. It's made for that purpose. That's why Pebio came out with these because, I mean, it is an expensive hobby if you want to have your own firing stuff to do, porcelain and all that. With this, you can just decorate anything and it has kind of a similar look. That's fantastic. So, yeah, okay, now we're more probably dry here. Yeah. 
Let's see my name come up. Woohoo! This here is beautiful. Right there and so yeah, here is not dry. See, I'm spreading it. Oh, I love that. I can't wait. I'm almost, I hope that's in my box. <laughs> I hope yeah yeah it's it okay I got a box but I haven't looked at it yet I didn't haven't had time I was coming to creativation so this is amazing I'm just gonna show you all oh, the cells now let me show you the cells yeah they keep they keep going they keep on it. going until it's dry how long until they actually stop going um because they start from the bottom up now they're starting to appear there's they will still move a little bit for the next 15 uh, maybe even half hour okay. this one's pretty much done but it's still liquid on top so now you know it started to set but i could still wow i could still play with it move it a bit colors. see now i'm removing all the red and i'm spreading more. amazing you, you can still do different things yeah Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Micheline, for showing me all the amazing products from PBO. And we'll talk soon. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming. Bye, guys.